Grade 5 Math, number 11.12, find the volume of composed figures. When we combine a rectangular prism with another rectangular prism, we call it a composed figure or a composite figure. Composite means made of more than one or made of two or more parts or elements. A composite picture of a face has the eyes of one person and the nose or mouth of another person. It could have the hair of one person and the face of another person. Composite rectangular prisms have two or more prisms in one figure. We can use addition to find the volume for these. This is very easy to see that there's six blue and two orange. We just add them up. Two plus six is eight. When there's a more complex figure, like this one, we use the volume formula, length times width times height. And we can use multiplication, then addition, to solve these complex ones. So, for the length times width times height for the orange one, we have 2 times 5 times 4. That's 40. 10 times 4 is 40. And for the yellow one, we've got 2 times 3 times 4 height. That gives us 24. 6 times 4. And for the last one, it's just like this orange one. It's 2 times, four times, two times 5 times 4, which is 40. And then our final answer is 104 cubic units. See, I didn't specify inches or centimeters. But it could be cubic inches, cubic centimeters, cubic yards, cubic feet, right? Well, what's also cool is that we can use subtraction to find the volume of composite rectangular prisms. What we do is we pretend that they don't have anything missing. We pretend like they're all there. And we do the length times width, 3 times 4, which is 12. See my nice order of operations equation here? Then we multiply it by the height, which is 3. 12 times 3 is 36. And then we subtract the ones that are missing. We can see 6 are missing. So we know the volume is 30 cubic units. See? Again, I didn't specify it was inches or centimeters or whatever. It's just units. Okay? They're blocks. So we can use subtraction. Now, when you have a more complex one like this, what we need to do is use the volume formula, but we find the volume for each rectangular prism separately, then add the products to get the total sum, like we did on our medical building over there, okay? So we split this into three different uh, rectangular prisms and find the length, width, and height for each one, and then we're going to total them. So the first one is 3 times 4. This is 3 times 4, which is 12. And the height is 2. 12 times 2 is 24, and that's inches cubed, all right, because we're doing each one separately. Then the second one is 3 times 4, which is 12, again, but its height is 4, because we can see here that it's 4. 12 times 4 equals 48, and that's inches cubed. And then the last one looks like a stick of butter, doesn't it? It's 2 times 4, which is 8, times 2, which is 16. We add them all up. We add the friendly ones first. 6 and 4 is 10, plus 8 is 18. And then 3 and 4 and 1 is 8. We have 88 inches cubed. See? So we multiplied, found each one separately, and then added all the products together. Now, as you're ending fifth grade and going into big sixth grade math, I wanted to show you something. The volume formula is usually written as V equals LWH. We don't have the little multiplication symbols in between them, okay? That's math for little kids. When we're working in algebra, it's usually understood that variables next to each other means you multiply them. So you're going to start seeing them like this with no multiplication sign in between them. You might even see numbers like this. That means to multiply. There's no multiplication sign. You just know that when a number is next to a parenthesis, that it means to multiply it, and that would be 6. Okay? So that's how you find the volume of composed figures of composite rectangular prisms. And I hope this was really educational and helpful for you. And I'll see you next year. Bye.